and we cannot fail. Para maintindihan niya. And that is so. the main motivation. We have failed. Them. We have to admit that. We have failed our children. And let us not keep failing them anymore. Otherwise, we will not allow them to become the great Filipinos that we know they can be. We will revise the K-12 curriculum to make them more responsive to our aspiration as a nation. We will reduce the number of learning areas in K-3 to from 7 to 5. We will share our draft curriculum. We need your help to make our graduates employable to employers to accept our students in work immersions. BBM at VP Sara Duterte umaksyon na, K-12 Reri Pasuhin, sinasabi ng Pangulo at Pangalawang Pangulo na may mali at hindi na ito mangyari muli. Ibasura na ang K-12 na batas ni Noynoy, pahirap lang ito sa mga students at parents. Before that, I invite you to please consider to subscribe our channel and press the notification bell para laging updated sa latest. Narito ang video panuurin natin. It is an honor to join you today for the first part of the basic education report. And it is particularly important as we were noting during this, while the vice president was speaking, that this has been the first conference of this kind for many, many years. And uh, is, we deem it absolutely necessary that we have such consultations for the simple reason that we all know, must, must know, the situation that we face and the many problems that we need, that we need to solve. And uh, only again, by working together, can we get that, that, that job done. But at least, the uh, Department of Education, the Secretary uh, in, in Daisara, our Vice President, has provided us with this starting point. And it is now up to us to take that starting point and start, go from that starting point and to all of the programs that we hope to implement in the very near future for our children. I think that uh, if there is one thing that we took from the comments of uh, the Secretary, Sec uh, Secretary Vice President in Daisara, wow, is that mangaling. the Filipino is better than this. Oh, oh. The children are better than this, and we cannot fail. And that is the main motivation that we should keep in our hearts. We have failed them. We have to admit that. We have failed our children, and let us not keep failing them anymore. Otherwise, we will not allow them to become the great Filipinos that we know they can be. They will not become the great Filipinos that will be recognized not only by their fellow Filipinos, by, but many people around the world. We will make the curriculum relevant to produce competent, job-ready, wow. active, and responsible citizens. We will revise the K-12 curriculum to make them more responsive to our aspiration as a nation, to develop lifelong learners who are imbued with 21st century skills, discipline, and patriotism. <laughs> we will reduce the number of learning areas in K-3 to from 7 to 5 to focus on foundational skills in literacy and numeracy in early grades, particularly among disadvantaged students. We will strengthen our literacy and numeracy programs. We will revitalize our reading, science and technology, and math programs by utilizing the gains of previous programs. The programs will be benchmarked with local and international best practices, consulted with experts, and will be research or evidence-based. We will improve English proficiency while recognizing linguistic diversity. We will work towards the goal of English language proficiency within the context of a multilingual nation. We will review the implementation oh, of the mother tongue-based multilingual education policy oh, oh, guided by the I. basic principle that, among others, learners learn when taught in a language that they understand. We will further intensify the values formation of learners in curriculum and teaching, particularly through the good manners and right conduct and values education in adherence oh, to Republic Act 11 476. We will embed the culture of peace in our curriculum to develop learners who are peace builders in communities. 
We will integrate peace competencies such as social awareness, the environment, value for diversity, wow. self-esteem, positive character, resilience, and human security into the various learning areas of the K-12 curriculum. We will be transparent with curriculum guides. We will share our draft curriculum with interested education stakeholders to help us develop a robust <laughs> curriculum. We will be transparent about our test scores. We will make our test data available for researchers and analysts to aid us in making evidence-based policy Grabe. decisions. We will share sample oh. test items with schools and teachers to strengthen the use of assessment to improve the teaching and learning process. We will engage with CHED and TESDA and various oh. industry partners to address the issues of skills mismatch in our senior high school program. And we will need your help. To make our go. graduates employable, we appeal to the industry and to employers to accept our students in work immersions and hire them when they graduate. Let us join hands and act in unison as we build the best education system that the Philippines has ever seen. Oh. We owe it to our children to prioritize their well-being oh. and give them the highest possible quality of education so they may become the innovators and the leaders of tomorrow not only of the Philippines, but of the world. With our united efforts, I am confident that we will succeed and bring forth a better, brighter, more prosperous future for our children. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo.